incoming. Something's wrong with this reel. Come on! Come on! <laughs> so bendo! I have no idea how big this is. Yeah, that's good. I know the lighting's not great, but look at these big guns we got out today. We're bringing out all of our heavy tackle. We're hunting for some big fish today. I don't know how long. This might be a multi-day mission, but today's day one. Maybe it'll be a one-day mission if we're lucky today. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'm out here with my buddy Nick Fish. See him behind me there. We're hunting for dinosaurs today. I've only caught one keeper ever from a kayak, and uh, it wasn't from this kayak. Caught a couple of small ones from this kayak, never caught a keeper, hoping this will be a chance to finally put a keeper on this kayak particularly. But anyways, yeah, it's a little bit, well, totally different style of fishing really to anything else we have in the Bay Area. And um, I guess we'll talk more about it as we're doing it. It's a lot of downtime, a lot of kind of sitting and waiting, but when the magic happens, it can get kind of crazy pretty quick. So anyway, that's the plan for today. We're motoring out to the spot. I'm gonna kind of motor around, look for some marks, try to figure out where these fish are at, and uh, anchor up. And hopefully put a bait right in front of their nose. All right, this looks good. So anchor, anchoring up is actually, you wouldn't think it's dangerous because you're just, you're not moving at all, but it's actually super dangerous. So definitely want to know what you're doing before you come out here and do this. It's not super strong right now, which is good. Make it a little easier for us, but okay. Now we're set. Now we're gonna drop in our line. So we got a couple of really heavy setups here, like I was showing earlier. We got a couple of different baits here. We got. I'll show you really quick. We got ghost shrimp, one of our different kinds of baits, and then we also have you guys here, grass shrimp. So I'm probably gonna do one of each, these two rods here. So I'm gonna do one ghost shrimp, one grass shrimp, and then we'll mix it up from there. Maybe I'll do a combo or something after that. We'll see. All right, let's see what happens. Same thing with the other one. I think I'll put grass shrimp on this one just to have something a little bit different. And uh, yeah, then it's a waiting game. So you can see our setup here. We got two rods in. Depends on the area you're fishing, but in this particular area, we can use two rods for surgeon. And then we have these balance beam systems. So the reason why we use these is the surgeon bite is super light. So if a surgeon bites it, it won't feel the, the tension of the rod. It'll just kind of go up like this. And then by the time it's Get to that point hopefully i'll be watching pick it up boom set the hook and then set the hook on that fish before it feels the tension of the rod um, so that's why we use these little balance beam systems and uh yeah that's pretty much it now we got everything set up now we sit back and eat our breakfast Outgoing. Now it's just switched to incoming. Something's wrong with this reel. But anyways, we just reset the drift or reset the anchor here. So now we're fishing the incoming tide. We'll probably hit this spot for a little bit. Try it out for we're not too far from where we first started. Try this for a little bit on the incoming tide, see if that makes any difference. And then uh yeah, so we'll do that. Do that for maybe an hour or so and then pick up and try a little bit different area. If nothing happens here. No bites yet. But uh, this game, this is a waiting game. It's not going to be a quick deal. It's a lot of waiting. 
hoping for one good bite, essentially. I'm gonna try to anchor up. So you guys can in. Come on, big time, big time. That's a big one, boy. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, he's going upstream. Oh man, that felt like I just set into a, a log. That's a big fish though. Man, that's it's a big one. Just the slightest of bites. Just the slightest of bites. This is on grass shrimp. That was my fish. Dude, that is a big one. Oh man. Just dead weight. It's going upstream. Turning the kayak. Bendo! Watch out, he could come to the service. Oh, that would be epic. Right now he's staying down though. That looks over. Yeah, I don't know, it feels pretty big. heavy weight dealing with here. This might be a while. Damn, dude, that's big. <laughs> yeah. This is the smallest bite, too. Alright, this might be a while. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Now we're making progress. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Now he's coming. Now we're getting somewhere. I have no idea how big this is. I don't think it's over, but who knows. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, it's not that big. No, it's not that big. Probably keeper though. Yeah, I think it's a keeper. Yeah, that's, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Keeper! Wow. That was so heavy. Battle. <laughs> you didn't really go on any big run or anything. It was just like heavy. So we got to measure this fish. So the slot limit in California is 40 to 60 inches. So anything below 40 and anything above 60, um, you have to release. And that's because the bigger ones reproduce way more than the middle-aged ones or whatever you want to call it. So it's easy, better for this, the population if the big ones stay alive, obviously, and reproduce more. Um, so anyways, let's give this one around. I'm pretty sure it's within the slot limit, but we're gonna measure it to make sure. We're gonna make sure it's to 40 and it's to the fork, not to the tip of the tail, to the fork. I'm gonna glove up, so 
Sturgeon are such a weird fish. There's so many, they're, they're so different from most other fish that we catch around here. But sturgeon have these really, really sharp scales on the side called scoots. Um, so I'm gonna put on these gloves before I start handling them. I don't wanna get messed up from those. In case he flops around. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, these things right here are super sharp. Top, side, and bottom, which is why we, oh. which is why we use super heavy leader because they're very abrasive. Not the easiest thing to do on a kayak. It's about almost four feet, definitely within the 40 to 60 slot limit. I hate these tape measures, they never slide back in. But anyways, we got our slot fish on the first shot. Ah! <laughs> no, no, no. That's why they call them dinosaurs. Look at that thing. Looks like a prehistoric fish. All that like Plated armor on the sides. Got that sucker shaped mouth. They eating off the bottom, which is why we just get our baits planted right on the bottom. Try to keep them as stationary as possible. But yeah, these guys have been around for a long time. I don't know how long exactly, probably millions of years. Um, but yeah, you can see why they've survived so long. So hard head to look at this. Hear that? Everything here is just built to built to survive and this one's got a Nasty little scar there. I'm not really sure what that's from but Anyways, yeah, just a beast of a fish and we saw the rod bent over like crazy on that one Tiniest little bite Boom set the hook and it was on right at the turn of the tide You're only allowed three sturgeon per year one per person per day um, so this is going to be my, I don't normally catch more than one, so this will be my first fish, maybe only fish that I'll tag out this season. And look at that, that hook just came right out, barbless hook. The tension was so key there. Such a funky looking fish. So this head, look at those eyes, they're super small. They barely even have eyes, which is because the water in here is so dirty that they don't really see much anyways but all of their sensory organs here in the nose, these little whiskers here, and their sense of smell is very, very good, which is how they do most of their hunting, find most of their prey. So the heavy line, you know, the, the setup, the presentation itself doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. It's just making sure that it's down there and, and detectable, in the other sense, like scent. Scent is probably the most key thing with these sturgeon. But yeah, look at that fish. Arms are getting tired here. So the next step here is to tag them. So in California, they're limited to three sturgeon per year and one per day. So technically speaking, I could come back out another couple days and uh, catch a couple more sturgeon um, on another day. But that's it, that's the limit for today. So um, you need to tag them as soon as you catch them. So um, what I have here, I have my sturgeon card, which is just another one of their licensing. And I have my sturgeon tag right here. It's key you don't lose these because you don't get to re, uh, you can't reprint these. You only get three of these per year. We gotta put the month, day, location, and then the length of the fish, and then uh, attach it to the sturgeon itself. And then you're good to go. A Little bit of luck mixed with a little bit of skill. Well, mostly luck mixed with a little bit of skill and probably a little bit of persistence as well. 
got the job done. So this is the setup right here, super simple. Little slider, it's like a fisherman's uh, fish finder rig. Little slider with the weight. And then I was using this one right here, just an eight ounce flat weight. Um, and then the swivel or a bead and then the swivel and then uh, your leader. I put a little weight on there to keep that bait pinned to the bottom. Nothing huge. Most of the weight's all in this, this part right here. Uh, but this leader right here, both the leader and the, I put a little bit of top shot, about six foot top shot, all for abrasion resistance. Nothing to do with actually fighting the fish. Um, it's all just for abrasion resistance. This is all 100 pound. And this is actually on the lighter side. You could definitely go a lot heavier than this. But uh, yeah, that's the setup. Got the job done. Yeah, that's about it. So yeah, I said at the beginning, I wasn't sure if this was gonna be a multi-day trip or, or a multi-day adventure or, you know, if we're lucky enough, maybe we get it done on the first day and that's exactly what happened. Got lucky on the first day within about three hours. It took us about three hours this morning to get this one. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.